Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So today I'm going to be talking about the blizzard because I've seen some people have some trouble with it and I just thought that I would do a bit of a guide. So as always, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do, make sure to subscribe. It really means a lot and now let's get into it. So I know the blizzard isn't that complicated, but some things about it are kind of tricky. So as I said, I just thought that I would show you some tips and tricks because at the end of the day it is still very useful you get winter tokens character xp special items and i mean it's just fun so if you do have the chance to do it make sure to go for it but first let's read what star Sable said about the blizzard on their website they said once you've completed your winter village intro the story must go on our hero will brave the chill of the sudden blizzards and help those in need our weather forecasts predict that blizzards will hit random spots in Jorvik every day between the hours of 8 and 10 am and 5 to 7 pm. The blizzards won't be hard to spot, a distinctive snow flurry in the sky will guide you to your hero's quest. Blizzards are predicted for the next two weeks only, so hurry and locate them. Keep in mind that blizzard times are based on your server time, there will be one quest for every snow crisis period, meaning two per day. One quest will be available to all players and one to Star Riders only. You will be granted winter tokens upon completing your quest. So I know the biggest controversy about the blizzard and I also think that Star Sable should do something about him is the time in which you can actually do it. So I just want to read what Star Sable said about this critique. They said, we know how important fun festivals are for your community, so we are always looking for ways to improve them. For the winter festival, we wish to try a new approach, partially to showcase the new snow that would show up at specific times with a specific duration, just like the real snow. We hear your concerns about the time schedule we chose and we appreciate it and will take it into consideration when discussing the learnings of this event. So I don't think they will change anything about the times. And I think that is a shame because, you know, you get 40 XP a day, you, you get free items and, you know, it's just a fun activity. So I don't think that's right. But first, I'll show you how to check what time it is on your server. I guess you could also do it with the championship schedule, but I think the best way to check what time it is is to just ride up to the Silverglade village and check on the clock. And as you can see, this side, don't look at this side, here it says it is 20 past 5, so yeah, that's how you know. And, and as I read before, the blizzards are from 8 to 10 in the morning and 5 to 7 in the evening. I guess only one side really shows what time is it, maybe this side also? I don't know, wait. I don't know why they did this so yeah just check the side that is different from the other one now let's get on to how to actually spot a blizzard it's actually again pretty easy especially if you have the winter festivities on the map so for example here i know that this is not a blizzard because well i can kind of see it so this is a winter festivity and you're gonna see how different a blizzard looks it doesn't have the aurora borealis lights and when we get closer you're gonna see how, how it's basically i don't know how to describe it differently than just a blizzard there's, there's a bunch of snow in the air and yeah so if we check on the map we see that it's in golden hills so let's go to jasper's pumpkin farm so here you can see that the blizzard looks completely different from the winter festivities so let's just go up this hill and get to the blizzard so and once you're close enough it's another snowstorm crisis completed at the top of the screen you're going to see how many minutes you have left until the snowstorm disappears all you have to do to know is just hover your mouse over the blizzard symbol let's find Rovan, who is going to give us the first like quest so here they are here we get the quest 
Sometimes Rovan gives us a quest, for example, we have to like rescue some people from buildings, but it seems like we don't have to do that here. And I have Idun, I don't even know how to pronounce her name, and James for now. So let's see what James has to say. I kind of forgot, but the biggest life hack to do during the blizzard is to basically turn the snow off and it's gonna be so so easy to spot everything but for now I'm just gonna have it on I have enough time and I just think it's a part of the fun but if you do not have enough time I would really recommend you know just turning the snow off I've done it plenty of times so don't worry about it okay so this is the activity called lost and found that we get with James and Anyway, with the lost and found, we get this kind of compass thing and I'm going to show you how to use it. So once you see this kind of ring around it, you know that you're kind of close to a person and you just look at the direction that it's pointing and, and try to write there. Red means that you're kind of close, yellow means that you're pretty close and green means that you're there. So for example, now it was green and once I've actually ridden past it, the arrow is gonna point in the other direction, which means that you have to turn around and start digging. And I found the first person. After you found one person, this thing, I don't even know what it's called, is gonna start moving in all directions and what you have to do is just ride somewhere and it's already picked up another person. Sometimes it takes a while, but let's just go ahead and find the other person. I think it's much easier when there's many more people because many of them are standing in these places but here's how it looks um, with no snow so yeah it's really easy to spot so if you have any trouble just turn the snow off and we are going to start digging and now let's find our last person and of course once you've ventured too far from the blizzard it's gonna disappear it's not gonna have this blizzard um, timer up at the top of the screen anymore and there's not gonna be any oh I, I I forgot that I have to keep looking so I think the person might be down there or maybe I, I don't know if I should go okay yeah I think we have to go down for the last person so let's just go and let's not die okay great And let's follow the arrow and it's supposedly here okay just position yourself so that when it like when it has a green ring your arrow is gonna point it at the same direction as this little red arrow so let's just dig and now we are done there's another activity where you have to find sheep and help I think it's Landon and with that activity you're just gonna have to ride around and it's gonna say on screen if you're getting close so it's gonna be like oh it's getting hotter it's warm it's really hot and that's kind of how you're gonna know which direction you should go in but again if it's too hard just turn off the snow so with Eden I don't I, I don't know I think her quest is the hardest because you have to find Honeyball and the other child and they're just running around and even when I had snow turned off It was kind of hard for me to find them So I'm gonna try to do it with uh, Snow turned on but we're gonna see how it how I do so as you can see you get 20 character XP as well as two winter tokens. Oh Wait, oh my gosh, so you actually get 80 character XP a day at least 80 I got kind of confused but that's really nice oh my gosh okay so now we have to find the playing children and as far as I know there's no like life hack as to how to find them you just have to literally keep running around because they don't stay in place they are running around and it's honestly kind of hard to find them sometimes so I guess while I'm gonna try to do it, I'm gonna explain the other um, activities that you can get. So usually the very first activity that you get is to save some people that, that are snowed in their home and you just basically have to 
remove the snow from their area. And that one's actually pretty easy. I think it's nice, but I do like some more challenging ones. There's also one where you just basically have to find some boxes and bring them back to Roven. That one's also pretty easy. Ah, here are the children! Oh my gosh, I found them! I cannot believe this is the fastest that I found them. I'm, I'm usually running around for like 10 minutes. That was actually pretty quick. Like, I needed, what, 8 minutes? That's really good. Okay, so let's talk with Eden. We didn't get any free items now, but I did get them yesterday or the day before. I'm not completely sure, so I'm going to show you which ones they are. So for now, I've gotten these two items from the Blizzard activity. One is a Celebrity Sky Trip jacket. And there's also Celebrity Sky Trip Winter Gloves. I think they look nice, though they don't have full stats, so um, yeah. But I think it's cool that we can get some free clothing along the way. And I do actually find the Blizzard activity really fun. So I hope Star Sable changes something about the times. There's only two weeks to do everything. But yeah, I think this is gonna be it for this video. I hope I mentioned all of the activities from the blizzards right now. I did do all of the blizzards except for one. So I don't know if there's any that I have forgotten, but I hope this helps. But again, a major life hack, a major life savior for the blizzard, especially in the time crunch, is to just turn the snow off and it's gonna be really easy. So. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful and I'm gonna see you in my next one. Bye!